Hello guys, it's your boy Jay back at it again with another video and today I'm going to be doing another album review or reaction. Um, today I'm going to be reacting to City Light by Bacon. Um, um, some of you guys have, or one of you guys in particular, I'm not going to name any names. You know who you are. You said I wasn't showing any love to bacon and that's a lie because i have been showing extremely amounts of love to bacon um i've reacted to super m and super m i talked about his vocals this man's vocals is amazing i said that um what else what else i reacted to you and village the MV plus the live because I wanted to see his sick dance skills because he's not known much for his dancing, but he is a good dancer. Um, so, and now I'm reacting to his album. So I, I, I don't know where you're saying I don't show the love because right now I'm showing all the love. There's so much love right now. So I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> But anyways, I'm super excited to listen to this. First track is You and Village. I was thinking about skipping it because I've already listened to it. But I've already listened to it and I still want to listen to it anyways. So that's what we're going to start with is You and Village, the first track. So let's check it out. We'll listen to a little bit of it because it's fire. Oh, and now uh, my internet wants to start acting stupid. So that's always fun. Let's try it again. Another reason why I wanted to listen to this track is because I wanted to see if there was like a certain theme or like a certain vibe um, or if any of these songs sound similar. And I have um, the subtitles on this time just so I can hear, not hear, but see what um, is being said so I can actually understand. Um, so that was, that was cool. Um, stay up featuring Benzino. I want to check that out. I should have checked to see if anyone had the timestamps before I did this, but I feel like no one's going to because you don't really need to when the track list is right there. So bear with me while I look for um, the playlist or a track list, I should say, because that always is helpful. All right, time for the next track. If you ever see me looking at my watch, um, I have, I'm making sure that I'm in focus and stuff like that. So that's what I'm doing. I really like the uh, background stuff in there. Yeah, I really like the, um, the background stuff in there. This is very R&B to me. Betcha. What is this beat? I feel like this is a whole vibe, bro. I feel like 
the subtitles that I'm reading are wrong because he literally said, um, go, or there was a word that said go, and that's not what came up. <laughs> Bro, I cannot wait to listen to more Baekhyun and Super M because that, that whole Super M thing is so dope. The flow on this is really good. He says, can't let you go, and on the subtitles for me, it says, all who. That's definitely not what he's saying. <laughs> what? This is so dope, man. The production on this is really fire. Next song is Ice Queen. I've heard a lot of people talk about this song. Um, I found a few gas stations near you. Why? <laughs> Had a commercial in there. But um, I heard a lot of people talk about Ice Queen, so I wonder how that is. I ice cream <laughs> sounds like ice cream bruh relax I know he's saying ice queen it just sounds like ice cream okay dairy queen bro he's came in with the vibes on this one Bacon came through with the vibes on this on this album. This album is perfect for reactions because it's only six tracks long, so I love that. Ice cream, ice cream. <laughs> In the beginning, I try to see if you and Village had like a vibe that would be similar throughout this whole thing, and it seems like. You and Village is very um, similar to this song with like that R&B feel. Um, it really feels like this whole album is supposed to have like an R&B feel to it. So yeah, definitely like an R&B feel with like those background like vocals of like a soulful like R&B singer. I, I just what this album reminds me of. So this would technically be like the last song on the album then, because Psycho is a bonus track. Um, but yeah. I really wanted to listen to this. What? This dude's voice is super like deep. It's like a deep, powerful voice. Very good for rapping. Amazing. Benzino. <laughs> I had no idea how to say this dude's name, bro. Alright, now we're listening to Psycho featuring Post Malone. Super excited about this. I'm kidding. Post Malone's not in this. Post Malone just has a song called Psycho. That's why I always say that. It sounds like it's about to turn into like a rock song. <laughs> Sounds kind of dark in the beginning. No, no snap there. Whoops. Oh. 
stuff. Oh yeah, this is actually pretty lit. Studio version. So what's the other version then, huh? Tom um, Bacon, what's the other version? Yeah, this is this is interesting. It seems more dark. Um, and when I say dark, I just mean like it's like um, it's slower. The beat is um, one of those like build up beats where like there could be like a really heavy drop with like a huge like electric guitar drop. Um, a lot of screaming, kind of like a rock song. Look at, listen to those vocals, man. I really love the different genre on this one. I wonder if that's why it's a bonus track, is because it's not as R&B filled as the other ones. There's this beat change. So, I just listened to Bacon's album. That was really interesting to me. Um, I don't know. That was um, not different. It was very R&B filled except for Psycho, which is like a bonus track. So I guess you don't even have to count that. This whole thing other than Psycho is just an R&B track, um, which is fine, which is totally fine. It f totally works for him. Um, he's very, uh, like a very soulful singer. So that's, so that's like right in his ballpark or in his alley for his voice, um, but Psycho, it seemed like Psycho was something that he just did be, um, to like show off a little bit of range of stuff that he can do with his voice because he does have a powerful voice. Um, so I think that's just what that was. Um, it was it was good. It was just some, I'm glad that he decided to do something different and it was just something that he wanted to add just to be like, hey, I can do this too. Um, it really like, dark like darker um kind of voice where it's a little bit deeper and um just mess around with those like different kinds of like beats and melodies and stuff because there was a little bit of a beat change in there um favorite song on the album though is definitely going to go with you and village um the reason why you and village for me is such a huge song is because it's a the beat and then it's just so smooth like that like the beat on that song is just so smooth and there was nothing else on this album for me this is my opinion for me that came close to that it was just super smooth and then there's like that guitar in there like that guitar rift and it's just amazing and it just all blends super well together and then his vocals on top of that so cool and then especially because like the different flows he does on that song like it goes from like kind of steady and mellow to going a little bit higher and then going back down again i i don't know there's just something about it that was super amazing to me so that is that was good to me and then stay up i guess stay up would come in second because um stay up would come in second for me because it sounds it's the closest song on the on the album to you and village and then i'm thinking i'm gonna go with betcha for for my third for my third one i just gotta go back and see if that's the one i'm thinking of hey google call corner and street taco. google keeps call popping up with these taco. ads bro yeah. yeah betcha because it has like this bubble gum pop kind of sound to it and it just fits him really well and like I just have like this huge like picture scene of like summer like water park or like even just something super bubbly and fun you know just something cool in my head for that song so yeah I don't know um I'm really I feel like I'm really trash at doing album reviews and reactions I don't know why you guys have me <laughs> react to albums because I I feel like I talk through the whole thing or like over the songs for the most part and I just don't want to sit here and listen to a song because that's boring. You don't want to see... I mean, some of you guys might want to just sit here and see me do this. And dance a little bit, like clap my hands or whatever. But for the most part, I'm not going to just sit here and listen to the song. I mean, I'm, I'm listening, but I got to talk as well. Um, so if that annoys you, I'm sorry. Um maybe one day like maybe for an april fool's joke i'll just listen to the whole song without reacting um 
yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be funny. That's gonna, I mean, that's what that's a real reaction, you know. That's what a real reaction channel would do would just listen to it. But I mean, I guess that's how I actually react though. Like when I react to stuff, I actually like show emotion and like I don't know, and I talk. Like I'm like, oh wow, that was cool. Like this is amazing, and. When I'm doing this, I actually have someone I'm talking to. So I'm talking to you guys. That's why, like, during reactions, I talk over a lot of stuff. Um, I'm rambling. I don't know why I'm doing this. I always do this. <laughs> Stop having me react to albums, bro. If you guys really like me reacting to albums, then I'll continue to do this. But if this is annoying you, then I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, next album I'm going to react to is Super M. Super excited to react to that. Super excited to listen to that. Super excited to listen to some more of those, some more tracks just to see like how the different styles blend in together and different vibes and like see what they do because like that's, that group is amazing. Uh, Bacon was amazing on this album. Um, this was good. This was really good. Like I said, you and Village, stay up and then betcha. But yeah, this has been your boy Jay. Make sure to like, comment, and as always, subscribe and peace. Adios.